YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Erica. If you are not new, welcome back. I am so excited to be back with another full day of eating in a cut. If you guys watched my last one, we have some updates. So I started my deficit from a building phase where I was slightly over my maintenance calories. I was eating about 2,900 calories a day. And then my coach to start my deficit dropped me down to 2,550, which is just under my maintenance if I had to guess. I dropped a little bit of water weight and then yesterday he dropped my calories to 2350, which is still a decent amount of food. That's probably where they'll sit for the remainder of this mini cut. I think we'll only cut for another mm, five to six weeks, so nothing crazy. But yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys along on a full day of eating in a deficit. I'm gonna run the clips of what I had for breakfast right now for you guys. my post-workout smoothie and I'm gonna try the new PE Science white chocolate macadamia protein powder that's dropping on April 24th so I'm very excited so let's go whip up a post-workout sheet. Alright so this is the protein that's launching it's white chocolate macadamia like I said it launches on April 24th I don't know if this video will be up by then but regardless you can use code Erica to save on any PE Science products so let's blend this into a shake I'm basically just gonna put a little bit of frozen strawberries just for texture, a scoop of this, almond milk, stevia, ice, and blend it up. It literally smells so good. I'm also making a TikTok, so just ignore that, but let's blend this up. So a cup and a half of almond milk. The worst part is finding the scoop. One scoop in. Just a dash of stevia and some ice cubes. And now we blend. Do you see how thick that is? Oh my god. It literally tastes like if a macadamia nut cookie and strawberries had a baby and turned into a frozen corn. It's so good. So final thoughts. This is so good. I really like this flavor. It has like a slight nutty flavor, but it's not overpowering. 10 out of 10 would recommend. All right, we are back and I'm gonna make lunch. I am obsessed with chicken fajitas. If you know, you know. So I'm gonna make some chicken fajitas right now before my friend comes over. We're gonna hang out, go for a walk and test some kombucha because we're both kombucha early. So I'm really excited about that. But first I'm very hungry. So let's whip up some chicken fajitas. such a good time we had a little bit of kombucha and went on a long walk i'm gonna make a little bit of matcha right now just for a little bit of a pick me up and a snack because i am behind on my food today i'm not sure what i'm gonna make but we'll find out together i don't think i make this right but whatever we're making an iced matcha with some almond milk and i'm gonna top it with some frothed almond milk so delish I'm just gonna make an English muffin with avocado and a side of egg whites because I'm a little bit behind on my protein today, so we're gonna mix that up. So we're just gonna toast this. I'm literally such a hoe for avocado, you guys. Like, 
I eat it at least twice a day, if not three times a day. It's just one of my favorite foods. So I'm just gonna top this with a little bit of salt. Almost done. And that is the finished snack. We've got about 20 grams of protein and some carbs and some healthy fats. It's a little bit later and it's not quite time for dinner, but I'm craving like a little crunchy snack. So I'm gonna make these green beans in the air fryer with some garlic salt as like an appetizer before I have my dinner. So let's make them. And I always get questions about how I make these. I literally weigh them out, however much I'm gonna have, put them in the air fryer, spray them, put in garlic and salt, and then air fry them for like eight minutes at 350 and they're Perfect. And I just like cut off the little stem things. I don't even know what they're called, but I don't like how they taste. So I just cut all those things off. Okay, so I literally just put my green beans in there, spray them, and then I go in with some garlic and salt. Put them in for eight minutes and we're good to go. All right, and eight minutes later, they are done. Super excited to munch on these. Just some crispy little green beans. Okay, it is now dinner time and I'm gonna show you guys how to make my most recent obsession, which is this salmon mackerel bowl. I'll show you guys what all is in it. It's kind of a lot of ingredients, so bear with me, but I really, as I said in my last YouTube video where I did show this recipe or a very similar one, I'm really trying to focus on gut friendly meals and by that just like diversifying my micronutrient profiles. So getting in lots of different colors and different vegetables and fruits throughout the day and probiotic and prebiotic foods. So this bowl contains a lot of those things plus some omega-3. So let's get into this salmon macro bowl. It does call for a lot of ingredients, so bear with me. Okay, <laughs> so ingredients are spring mix, some rice that I've already cooked, pickled asparagus, salmon that's cooked from yesterday, sauerkraut, cooked beets, and then the dressing I make with Greek yogurt, mustard, lemon juice, and some garlic powder. We're just gonna start with a bunch of spring mix. I just got this from Costco because it's cheapest there. And then I'm also just gonna add some rice to this as well. I just have cooked basmati rice just because I need some extra carbs. You definitely could do like quinoa or whole grain rice with this too if you wanted some extra fiber, but I've already gotten a decent amount of fiber in for the day, so I don't wanna overdo it and wreck my digestion. Then I'm just gonna chop up some pickled asparagus and throw this on there. And then I also have these pre-cooked beets that I get from Costco. And I'm just gonna throw in about 100 grams of these. I also love pickled beets, but I don't have them. Be careful, because these will stain your counter. And then I'm just gonna throw some sauerkraut on top. I love sauerkraut, and it's also a great probiotic. Now, for my dressing, I just make my own. I'm gonna start off with 30 grams of Greek yogurt, a little bit of mustard, some lemon juice, and garlic. And then just stir that up. So I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit so it's fully combined and it's not just lettuce all at the bottom. And then we'll drizzle our sauce. And lastly, I'm just gonna top it with some cooked salmon that I made yesterday in the air fryer. So it just comes apart beautifully. It's so good for the omega-3s. I love salmon so much. And there you go. There's my little macro salmon bowl. make 
are daily PE Science chocolate greens with almond milk. I am so obsessed with these. Oh my god, I'm a mess today. So we're just gonna do one scoop of greens with a tiny splash, if I can open it. So I'm gonna do one scoop of greens with a tiny splash of sweetener and a little bit of water and then fill the rest up with almond milk and ice. Literally, it tastes like chocolate milk. It's so good. All right, we're gonna make our go-to nightcap, which is oats with protein powder, chocolate chips, and cookie butter. aggressive amount of cinnamon because I like it when it's very flavored and now I'm just gonna add these mini chocolate chips and my go-to cookie butter on top and there is the finished oatmeal that is going to end my night thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video bye guys